Okay, it's 8.20, and we're on our National Signing Day extravaganza across the county, actually three counties. Uh, first stop is going to be Gaffney High School, where we have to be there in 40 minutes, and we're just leaving Spartanburg, so we have plenty of time, especially because on the highway I can do 75. Uh, and then we'll go from Gaffney, we'll hit Highway 11, go to Chesney, somehow get from Chesney to Union County, which I don't think there's an easy way to get to Union County anyway, so we'll just go, and then we'll come back up and hit uh, Dormant at 2 o'clock, and Burns around 3.30, and hopefully call it a day. We're hoping that no one changes their minds, makes weird phone calls to me saying they've uh, switched from Florida State to Clemson, or vice versa, and we're hoping that it's a nice, smooth day with lots of people signing and not a lot of... Uh, not too much excitement. Last year was too much excitement. This year we hope to calm. So are we going to do audio updates from each school? Okay, that's fine. Hey, we're at our first stop. We're here at Gaffney High School. Uh, we're going to have a couple signees here. Probably the biggest one is uh, J.B. Shippey, Shrine Bowl linebacker, all-area player. Uh, he will probably sign with Georgia Southern after changing his mind on Newberry. Yeah. Yeah. simple mind figures it. We can get on 105 here, which is where we're at in Gaffney, and hit Highway 11. We hit Highway 11, and that will run us all the way into Chesney. When we get to Chesney, we'll take a left onto 221, and we're there. And we have to do this in 25 minutes. Okay, we'll try it, and then you can play it back and make sure it works. All right. Uh, Hi, this is Jason Gilmer. Uh, we're actually on the road today for National Signing Day, the biggest day for high school football players turning into college football players with signings of national letters of intent. We've just visited Gaffney High School where they had four student athletes sign. Uh, the ones who signed were Joe Ben Fry, an offensive lineman. He signed to play at Presbyterian. J.B. Shippey, a linebacker, signed with Georgia Southern. Johnny Woods, a defensive back, signed with Hutchinson Community College. And David Dewberry, a tight end, signed with Tusculum. Uh, David will also sign with Hutchinson Community College uh, just in case he doesn't make the score to get into Tusculum. Is that enough, Andy? I'm about to get on Highway 11 uh, coming to Chesney, so if I'm a few minutes late, just wait on me. Okay, we'll see you there in the front office. Okay, man. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, bye. Bye. run a few minutes ahead. Uh, we're going to see uh, two signings here that we know of. There may be others. Uh, the, the big one here for Chesney is uh, Vernon Murphy, who's the school's all-time leading receiver. Uh, probably had one of the best receiving years uh, out of anyone that I've seen in a long time. He's going to be signing with Tusculum College, and that's great for, for Vernon and for the Chesney program to have someone sign. So we're almost there. We'll be there very shortly. Hi, this is Jason Gilmer again. We just uh, left Chesney High School where we had three signees there. Uh, the surprise of the group was offensive lineman Josh Mason who decided last night at 3 o'clock that he was going to sign today with Presbyterian College. And so he did make that signature known today on signing day. And also signing at Chesney were Vernon Murphy and Trayon Peeler. And both of those guys signed to go to Tusculum. Uh, Coach Brett Bridges said that this was the first time in Chesney history where three guys have actually signed on signing day.
Alright. Hey, this is Jason Gilmer again. It's uh, noon and we we're just leaving Union County High School where the first group of athletes have signed from that new high school. Uh, they actually had four football players sign today. Sam Hammond, an offensive lineman, signed with South Carolina State. Marcus Lott, a defensive back, signed with Coastal Carolina. And then two guys are going to Newberry with offensive lineman Josh Lowry and uh, linebacker Joe Smith signing to play there. Hey, it's lunchtime. It's uh, 12.30. We have about an hour to eat lunch, and then we're back on the road to head to Dorman. We're here at Mullinax's. Uh, it was actually in between spot in between Union County and going back toward Roebuck. So it's a good place to stop, good place to eat. Go check it out. It's 1.40, and as Willie Nelson is now currently singing, we're on the road again. We're headed to Dorman. Uh, hopefully there's going to be a lot of kids here signing, a couple football players and some other sports also signing. So we're going to go down there and see what's going on. We actually swung by the office to try to do a little work, but my computer did not want me to do anything, so I didn't get anything done. So we're back, we're heading out, going to some Dorman, and then we're heading to Burns after that. Jason Gilmer. It's uh, 2.45. We're just leaving Dorman High School. They actually had 13 students sign letters of intent. A uh, group of soccer players, track athletes, and then five football players. Uh, five football players were uh, Nathan Bachelor, a linebacker who's going to North Greenville. Brandon Martin and Jeremy Smith are two linemen who are headed to Lenore Ryan. Nick Swindler is headed to Pikeville. And he's a defensive lineman. And then free safety Stephen Thomas is going to Presbyterian College. And one of the other big signings of the day was actually Marcus Rowland, who is a sprinter on the track team, and he's headed to Auburn. We're here at Burns High School. It's our last assignment for the day, our last group of signees, and this will also be the only two Division One A signees that we have with Everett Dawkins going to Florida State and Cartier Rice going to Kentucky. So this is our last trip. So come on, let's go see it. Guys, we got this chair right here. If you want to, you want to step over? So then. See, it's another great day at Burns High School. We have three great young men right here to get ready to sign a four-year scholarship. A free education. All right, we're now leaving Burns High School. It's uh, 4 30. Uh, we've just finished our last signing day activity for the day. They actually had three Rebels sign for football scholarships uh, with Randall Hawkins signing with Sacramento State, and then the only two Division one a uh, signees in the area with Everett Dawkins signing with Florida State and Cartier Rice signing with Kentucky. So this is a wrap. It's over. We're out of here. We're done. No more signees. Well, until next year.